build a sandcastle. I could use a break. Far so good. Uh, I don't know. I'm blabbing for the rope over here. But talk to you. I'm getting there. Ta da! Ask H S A J J D for Hilda's gift. Ask Holt, Andy, and Jenna for Hilda's gift. Send me something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code?
Hi, Nancy. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I use to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Nancy, how's it going? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you'll also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? You again? I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something? So what if she did? I was hoping I could take a look at it. <laughs> you sure are a demanding little thing, ain't you? But tell you what, this chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. Chess problem yet? Got it right here. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. See you around. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, 
but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... You just got yourself a volunteer. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Nah. Good. Good. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. 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 Hmm. Nah. Good. Nah. Bingo. Bingo. Good. Nah. Good. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Thanks for your time. Whales rule!
Maritime Library. This is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor, about a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. Uh-oh. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it, if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery.